Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Pilot War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, our forces have landed um, in the northern parts of the US, well, the Americas, and we're going to destroy the native peoples led by Crow Dog. So I'm afraid he will not live to see another morrow, and this will be another faction. Whoops, sorry. This will be another faction that will be taken um, into our ownership. So let's have at it. They have one piece of artillery, but the idea is we will march slowly and cautiously towards their line, force them to engage us, and then we will encircle and destroy them. This is yet uh, one more step on the road to <laughs> actually completing this campaign, because we are now very, very close. So, let's drop our artillery in one and battery. They will all immediately focus on the enemy artillery. Which is not a bad exchange. I'm going to want my melee infantry positioned behind my line. Because my, my infantry may be for the most part okay at uh, melee combat but still you want to have a bit of support for them uh, let, let's let my cavalry do the flanking stuff with my general now they have pulled back to the hill so let's advance in good order They are somewhere. Killed three of the crew. We haven't landed a devastating hit against their... Apologies, pardon me. We haven't landed a devastating blow against their... Uh, single gun yet. Where are you? The great gun is the team that's targeted with engaging native artillery. Another volley's come in. Coming in too high. Set my infantry line to run because it looks like they are advancing a bit too close for comfort. Let's advance towards them with my Kizabashi fire at will. On. Raining. Sound shenanigans are at play. Bingo, we have exposed an enemy unit. Or forced an enemy unit to expose himself. There we go. Excellent, there goes the chief's bodyguard. Advance the cavalry up, fire at will on. If I may, actually. Okay, good. Pull my line back. Make sure we can use our firepower before we worry about charging them. We have seen some units expose themselves here on the right. Swordsmen advance, Hindu musketeers, make ready and fire. And maybe this unit of Hindu musketeers may cause them to shatter. Another volley. Not shatter, but be upset nonetheless. Sipahi engaged the warrior society. Nope, 
like you know warrior my Fizzlebashi engaged that unit of warrior society let's begin to cause some of these these routing units to become shattered units made it to our line, not for long. So they're shattered, my cavalry can advance up the hill. Tahi smacked the medicine men. They're shattered. Both cavalry units engage the medicine men. Let's push the hill with my cavalry. Come on, they're losing men first, but they're a good unit. They're a strong unit, so we don't want to push our luck too much, although it looks like we are going to Ah. Withdraw the cavalry. We don't want them to get bogged down in attacks on the hill. We want to advance careful, coordinated manner. Although I may bring an Islamic, another Islamic swordsman unit out onto the right flank. Nope, cavalry, run, 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 run. Engage. Small Native American warrior unit isn't the problem. Make sure Mikizabashi will fire it well off. Actually, bring a Sapat unit back. I mean, you guys refused to rout, so you deserve that. New man hit the back of the medicine men. Swordsmen also charge in to help support. Actually, no, I was, about, I was going to charge on, but let's let my infantry line do the work. falling against the enemy warriors that are trying to attack us now. Form a new musket line. Because Obashi on slouch is in melee combat, you just wouldn't just wouldn't want to you wouldn't you'd prefer not to use them that way. In my opinion. Chief's bodyguard. You may advance up and take pot shots. You men have reloaded. Hunter. 
waiting for one guy to reload. Very nice of you. Push up around the flank, get all my artillery to engage. The chief's bodyguard. Medicine men. You guys also charge armored Eastern cavalry, showing them who's boss. It's a humble bow unit. It's, it's continuing to exist on the field. Everybody, go get the chief's bodyguard, including the general. He charge over the hill into the rear of the Native American warriors. They're thinking we have the high ground. We are safe. Meanwhile, in the distance, you can see them. Spear points gleaming. Oh, they're not even going to get the charge off. But yeah, look, they know. Let's get out of here. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to follow it through. It was a good image while it lasted. It was a very good image while it lasted. Agbit took is ours. Let's, let's destroy the government building. Upgrade the fur trapper. Upgrade the roads. Re replenish the troops. Good, good, good. See, there are some Brits here. Potentially looking to cause some shenanigans. Then let's take Moose Factory from another British force. Soon Britain will cease to be a thing. We are squeezing them in the on the uh, the mainland, but we are going to have to do that intelligently, piece by piece, move by maneuver. Um, otherwise, they may catch us out and do us a lot of damage. Oh, quite. Again, Grand Battery. Advance my infantry under the muzzle of the guns, although it looks like they're going to be... They're going to be... Um, we're going to have to split our forces to get to them. No matter. That's exactly what we shall do. Let's go get him. Because, yeah, we can't advance up this hill. Yeah, actually, we, well, we, we kind of can. It would just cause... It would cause some problems. So on you plus mercenaries. And similar sort of thing on the other flank. Push, push, push. guns to engage the bod general's bodyguard. See if we can knock him off his horse. Oh, 
close. Start just divvy out the shots. If you don't have to try to hit them, elephants are just so slow. Push real close range. Okay, they form square. Push our troops in. Well, they're charging their general in against our elephants. Killed their general almost immediately. It's like a large amount of their infantry force has broken. Redirect artillery fire onto the left flank because it looks like a lot of their force is going to be. Obliterated. Push the forces, push my forces up to make a better line. into the village there we go get through the lines and shatter them oh that's it yeah <laughs> they've all yeah they've all broken messy battle broken bro broken ground um but it was the the resolution that we want Your you men sit in Fort Albany just so they can't um, do whatever they like, they have to actually land and then move. Huron needs be need dealt needs to be dealt with at some point. Lots of our forces in the west. Uh, well, they're currently just a bit stationary for now while things catch up. Let's go to Europe. One more turn for lots of these guys to be viable to move. And you're going up to Amsterdam. You are already recruit or are going to be recruiting. Six rates. Okay, let's consolidate a hold on London. Just end turn and see what happens. So we need to start knocking out these forces one at a time. And then we can push on towards Edinburgh. So Heidelberg's being destroyed, as is Cambridge, as is Hartford, as is Kikionga. Let's hit N10. So we're gonna land land a bunch of troops in the north as well. Interesting, they're dispersing out into the highlands. Yeah, there we go. They've landed troops. Okay, if we can isolate and destroy that unit in Bristol, for example, that would be a good 
capture. I don't care what you do to me now, 13 colonies. We are beyond caring. Especially when you're probably going to actually destroy yourself trying to stop us. You know, they, they dumped six ships. They're not actually killing many of us. They're going to be panicking. There's only so much they can actually do. Uh, do you want to intercept? No. You can raid that port as much as you like, Buster. Oh, I didn't want a water resolve, but I'm going to because it's just so... Blech. <laughs> I accidentally fallen back in that territory there. Ah, oh, as expected, the Portuguese army is just a mess of weak units. That's what happens when the AI gets squashed. Well, when they expand, and then they are rapidly defeated and their empire is compressed in such a way they don't actually lose units. They can't afford to keep them in operation, so they end up just being attrited away to a level they can actually support, and that level is usually uh, way too small. But anyway... I don't imagine this one, this battle will last a super long time. I mean, you see, let's even dig in and defend the town, like I normally never do, because it's usually just a bit... It's just not very good, in my opinion. Um, I, just, I really don't like defending towns. It's just a huge mess. I like my armies to have massed firepower, so dropping, having them in towns just neuters that completely. And it makes us a bit more brittle in how we respond to unplanned problems. So you guys go in there. You're going to go into the town hall. You men can hold here. Something like this, I guess. Another seek unit. Yeah, well, let's create some blocks of melee troops. Then we've got a few units of reserves. I don't quite yet know how I'm going to deploy them yet. Just let them come in, see what happens. So they, they are coming in from multiple directions. I use my cavalry to deal with the... Oh, I didn't actually send anyone to defend of the town. Wizard. As this regiment of horse advances down the road. Downed one. Down two. push cavalry forward, just to interfere with their plans on the flank. Let's just send two units of melee infantry up here. Just to attack them as soon as they come in. Same with you. That's 
Alright, engage us. You guys in there, seek musketeers. Hold here. Okay, push the cavalry around the flank. Good, you may occupy. Actually, let's put another unit of seat musketeers in there. Why the hell not? Should you guys deal with their artillery because it's completely exposed. them a volley. Kill another general. Here we go, we're just engaging them throughout the entire... Oh, hello! So that's where the enemy comes in from, although they may be bugged. Can my gunners aim over here? They may be able to. So limber them up, deploy them over here. Because they are stuck. Yeah, just push forward and charge them. Get him. Sending in so many regiments of horse after us. Kill him. Four souls. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, just push out like this, I guess. So start moving you guys over. More carabiner going down, there's another unit coming in. Okay, 
just push you guys over to here. There we go, engage. And push on to more cavalry. The militia can get engaged in a good old fashioned musket fight. Garrison guards, proper infantry now. Sadly though, they've walked right out into a couple of actual melee units. are actually doing some good work. I think I might actually want to withdraw, let them come in, then swamp them. Winning decisively. Yeah, we'll come in and say that. saying it. It's because you guys haven't withdrawn enough yet. See, now they've deployed, now they're wavering. There are more garrison guards. Fuck it. Cheese it. Run away! These two units need to deploy over here. need to come over here and deal with the militia. You guys need to commit. There's a block of garrison guards, garrison guards, garrison guards, footline garrison guards. That's not bad at all. I'll throw my general into the mix to buy some time. Oh, there's more in artillery that is ducks trying to come in. Useful. Charge in the general. Yes, they're concerned. Now the elephants are coming in. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> elephants don't give a damn. Warriors, they're very, very upset because they've, they've not got many men at all. The elephants will take care of them. The general has heroically fallen. Push up the gunners to shoot them down where they spawn. Garrison guards may see off my army, 
mostly off these guys, but they will be they will be confronted with more than a thousand men with fully loaded muskets right next to them. And they will fire as soon as they can. They will not wait. There is no quarter. Steady garrison guards. The general has already fallen. Let his other... Let, let, let the others fall. <laughs> he stabbed it up and in the backside. Okay, so... There are two armies on the field and neither of them come in. Well, two armies that can come in on the field, but they, can, they are not coming in because they are stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly make them come in one at a time, but I'll do that off screen because I can imagine it's going to be a bit boring for you guys and it's going to be a bit inefficient anyway because it's just using artillery to attack ground and hopefully, hopefully kill the unit that's stuck. Um, but yeah, I'll do that, do that off screen. So see you in a second, everyone. So it would appear both those artillery teams, they weren't blocking anyone else coming in. They were the last units in both those um, both those reinforcement armies, which is real nice. So we lost our general, but the enemy has been quite conclusively knackered, to use a technical term. Aha, uh -huh, now they want peace. No, sorry, Jose. Oh, no, I missed the chance, but no way, Jose. God damn it. Do we like Quebec? You'll get yours. I don't mean peace. Come on, let me in, let me in. So we've got the planes. Have we got the planes, nations, peoples? Yep, yeah, raid away, Britain, raid away. That will not save you. No, we haven't, but that is why this army... Just a second, everyone. That is why this army will leave Santa Fe. And go up to here. And you will go to here as well. Raid, 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 raid. Fleet arrives. I mean, let's, let's just declare war on the Huron. Quebec and the Iroquois don't care. Their port is unsecured, so we can just sail straight in and send troops against your factory. Yeah, that's just going to be a auto. Pear tree is ours. Excellent. Uh, you're just going to hop along and deal with these raiding British. Fight for as long as you can, but I'm afraid it's not enough. So you guys need to make ready to deal with... Ooh, just a second again. Right, you guys can just get ready. Because you'll have to push the hero on yourselves. Zimandar's court. Okay, right. Madrasa. I mean, you're already building one here, but more madrasas are always useful. If you're pushing up towards the Iroquois Confederacy, you auto resolve attack from the 13 colonies. You're in prime position to smack this army back northward. Firstly, you are able to pinch 
Falmouth and just siege them. Just siege them for now. You men push towards Quebec. Can you guys leave Acadia? You can. You also push towards them. Commercial port. Just build loads of madrasas. Not that it really matters. We're at the... We're in the end game now. Can you leave Boston? You can. Get to this bridge and hold it. Ooh, so your time is near, 13 colonies. Plenty more fleets have arrived. So if we take this big old fleet, trade, blockade this fleet at Tadoussac. Oh, it's not going to help us because there's still a load of fifth rates back. Let's not do that. They will just swarm us. Land as close as you can to the crossing point. And then recover. So you men push north, push south along the coast road. building okay so that was you done heroic death it was a heroic death a suspicious death their rake is doing their good work Fort blockaded fine let's get rid of some of these traits gained don't mind Texas farmland, Bavarian madrasa. I mean, lots of armies are just not going to move now because there's no real point in moving them. I mean, it's, I say that. Still going to move them though. Okay, everyone just stay out for now. I mean, you guys might land to support operations in Britain. Because we do have plenty to do the job in the Americas as is. Come on. Yeah, let's drop, drop another one to overwhelm Britain. Don't want to land. Okay, you go that way if you like. Don't want to land too close to Scotland. Because that will just provoke an, an optimal response. Suboptimal sub response, I suppose, is the proper way of saying that. Go over to the Americas. You just take a whole bundle of them. We have a number of things we can do. Take out the letter, which I, which I think I'm probably going to do just to mop up that force. Then we're going to have to start work against Britain. So if you replenish, just make sure everyone's replenishing. Yeah, first of all, let's deal with Valletta. <laughs> Go on then. Because it's their because it's their capital city, we'll do this. All these armies will 
they'll reform and then push against uh, the Americas. I wouldn't be surprised if the Plains Nations again is the last territory we take because they're so far to the west. They're almost... Oh, sorry if you can hear, that's my phone. Disconnecting and reconnecting to the computer. Um, they're so f tucked away to the west and so not involved in what's going on in the world, it's very easy to just ignore them. Let's make a hole. No strategy, no style, no finesse. We're going to batch our way in and rush. No, I'm going to ungroup them and give them a new order because they appear. No, even though I'm actually saying, look, shoot here, they've still decided, yeah, but we want to shoot at the mortars inside. I'm like, no, you don't. You're going after the wall. The artillery behaviour in this game has just dramatically gone down. Like, they've done it again. The artillery behaviour as an empire have... It just has gone downhill over the years. The more and more they've been pushing out updates. I've... Just, just from what I've observed. The behaviours of the artillery just become much more unpredictable in siege battles... It's just, it's just not good. They've just been screwing with it. Anyway, keep on pushing forwards. They're bringing more reinforcements in, but it's not going to help them. We're not going to make more than one breach. We are just going to swarm as many sections of the wall as we can. And overwhelm them. We're going to make one breach, we're going to try and push in, then we're going to assault this entire length of wall, the edges as well. Because they're aware they can't not defend the breach, otherwise our cavalry will just run straight in. See, after the fight, they can do whatever they like. Once, we, once they've made the breach, they can shoot at whoever they desire. But until they make one... Okay, let's take Hindu Musketeers. You guys block up the breach. Because Obashi hold one flank. Two units of melee infantry push one section of the wall. Two melee units support the push against the breach. giving everyone assault orders. Just throw run in. Just take as many entrances as you can. Mortars are going to try and make our lives hell. But if I try and say shoot the mortars, let's see if they actually do it. Will they actually do it or will they... Uh, so they are going to try. Oh, how cute. Just run past them, guys. The Hindu warriors will, will come up behind and mop them up. So they're trying to pursue our melee forces pushing the flank. Come on, bog them down. Which we are doing. Surround him. Pack him down. The colonialist pig. Got him.
You man, ceasefire. Is that my swordsman? Push forward. See, they've got orders to rush in, but some of them are deciding, hey, don't do that. Just run in through the breeze. That's cool. Push the breach. They want to get involved in a scrum down out here. They're yeah, welcome to it, the idiots. Carcass shot coming in. That's killed a lot. Bunch of Gurkhas. Not quite such good hits there. Gets a militia unit shattered. See, when we've got a when we've got a gate that's completely ours, I don't mind if our guys decide to running through it's the best thing to do because it's completely right decision. Let's get some of my dervishes down off the wall into the back. Yep, yeah, here comes the chug. They're concerned because of my scary elephants. Gurkhas have orders to pursue the mortars. These dervishes are here to push the rear. Go on, you men. Smash into, smash into the rear. Upset them. They're valiantly trying to hold. If this doesn't upset them, I don't know what will. They're absolutely surrounded. When they break, it's going to be a thing of beauty. There's a slight pocket outside the walls, but we're slowly creeping in, pushing them away. Yep, yeah, they've committed to engaging in the engaging in the breach. Go okay, more because I'm actually charging down into the middle of their formation. Shaken, wavering, wavering. The mortars are under attack. Killed there, General. How long can you hope to stand? Kill all the last members of the Mortar Troop. There they go. Floor to them. to them as they run through many many kills who lives as I say who lives to decide that we do not deserve the capital nice 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 killed the garrison to a man the letter is ours you men replenish then you guys replenish Excellent. You could do with... I mean, you want to attack these guys with some support. That's for darn sure. So you attack Bristol. 
Oh, we didn't get our reinforcements. Is that, but luckily that's all horse artillery, so that should be fine. We should make sure we use our uh, use our cavalry advantage. Hey, is it really an advantage? They got QSC yeah. We got plenty of artillery though. Um, but looking at the time, mate, it's probably best if I fight this in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing conquest of the British Isles and the rest of the world. Cheers, everyone.